those of you that are familiar with my channel know that I'm very picky when it comes to holsters. You can go down a whole rabbit hole with these things, man. There's so many manufacturers and you could spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars and have so much money wrapped up into these things that, you know, I found one, I like them, I recommend them. I, I just, I, I love what they do, but I may have found a leather holster that actually fits the bill pretty well. This is from We The People. This is their Independence Leather Holster, and it has some features that actually make it a very viable option for me personally. That's what I'm gonna show you today. Big thanks to those guys for sending that out. Let's talk about some of the features that make this holster unique and why I think it may actually fit the bill for a good everyday carry holster for me. Now let's start with the materials. You have eight ounces of leather here. Now, I normally don't read things straight off the website, but, but we the people put this so perfectly, I can't ignore it, right? So they are designed by a master leather craftsman, a 20-year Navy veteran, and IDPA competitive shooter. Now, there's a lot there to unpack, but we have a veteran that is making these holsters and somebody that knows what the heck they are doing. And then, not only that, they use high-quality vegetable tan leather from Patriotic Cow. So... I think we should definitely uh, thank the American cows that, uh, that helped us to have such a beautiful holster. So of course they're made right here in the USA and that is eight ounces of leather. So basically you have four layers of leather here. So what you'll notice, by the way, I got it for the equalizer there, but what you'll notice when we take a look on the inside, you have this, this double layer here. So it's rigid enough right to where it's going to stay in the position you want it to but it's also got some flex to it so it's not going to be super uncomfortable or it's not going to dig too much it's going to kind of move a little bit with your body as you're carrying it throughout the day so that to me is really good you can see the stitching all the way around and the way they form this this is one of the more impressive parts of this because most leather holsters except for the lock leather we did uh, maybe a year or two ago. Uh, it's been a while, but most leather holsters, they're kind of formed to the gun, but the retention kind of sucks. But what I noticed with this one, again, I'm not like pulling on the thing, right? I'm not pinching it or anything like that. It's got really good retention in there. And so I don't see any kind of, you know, plastic down in there, like the lock leather that, that holds it in place, but because they formed it so well to the gun, you don't necessarily hear a snap, but it locks into that trigger guard. They actually point out that there's three points of retention on the gun. Now, from my understanding, and what you'll notice is you just have the grain side on the interior. It's designed actually to keep down the wear on your firearm over time. You'll notice that a little bit of that comes off once you pull the gun out of the holster. But the retention is super impressive. What you'll also notice, the magazine release is exposed. I prefer that. That allows you to put the gun on, put the gun in the holster, pop the mag out, top it off, put the magazine back in the gun, and the gun is safe the entire time. Very minimal design. So any part of this where material doesn't need to be, they've cut that out. I appreciate that. I don't want, you know, a lot of these dual clip holsters, they have these kind of wings that come out like this and it's designed to spread out the weight more, which it can do, but then you have a bunch of extra material you're having to deal with when putting this thing on or taking it off or, or even worse, causing you to sweat, especially down here in the South, humidity and all that kind of stuff. These guys didn't do that. They made it minimal, cut away the material that isn't necessary, but made it rigid enough to make sure this thing is locked into place. These clips are a high quality polymer. So you can see, it doesn't take a ton of strength to get these up, but whenever they lock back down, inch and a half belt, these things actually do a really good job of snapping over your belt with that little hook right there. Another cool part of the holster is they actually have adjustable ride height and can. So you'll notice with the screws right here, there's a little bit of adjustability, right? This way. Okay, I didn't, I obviously unloosen these for the video, but you can adjust them a little bit that way. But then you have these holes up here, right? So you could run it, you know, where a clip is up here. These are down here, which will cause 
the rotation if you want to adjust that can a little bit. Up if you want it to ride lower, down if you want it to ride higher in your waistband. These clips are also tuckable, so if you need to tuck in your shirt or you like to tuck in your shirt, obviously, you can tuck your shirt in right behind that, and then all you're going to have showing is those clips. By the way, I am a uh, sucker for a super patriotic company, and some people say I have blind loyalty to America, and I'm guilty as charged, but I like the little American flags that they actually put on the clips there. So overall, looks like a really nice option. I want to show you what this looks like on really quick. Now. I don't tuck in my shirt a lot. I actually hate tucking in my shirt, but I did want to show you what that looks like. This shirt isn't even really long enough to tuck in either. So it's not a great example, but you get the idea. I mean, you're just going to have two clips shown, you know, depending on how tight the shirt is or whatever, will depend on how much this is actually going to print. But I'd say overall, it doesn't print too bad like that but again it's sticking out and this shirt just if you you know if you look it's just not long enough to really do that this is more my style right here so you can tell there's the gun right there right and there it is from the side obviously nobody walks around like this put your hands down boom i need to get to it now, that's one thing I have to adjust to with this because although it locks in really well, the draw out of the leather is a little bit slower than Kydex holsters or the normal holsters that I carry. So what I've had to do is make sure that when I draw that gun out, <clears throat> that I use a little bit more force. You would think it would come out easier, but because of the way it's formed, I guess, <clears throat> and then those, a couple of additional uh, retention points, it actually makes the draw a little bit, not really harder, but you know, just a little bit more effort to get that gun out. It could, of course, too be maybe just the friction between the gun and the leather itself, slowing down that draw a little bit. Now, if we want to adjust the can on this a little bit, to come a little bit more this way, we can do that as well. So you can see the hardware right here. It is pretty, pretty standard, right? You got your bushings here. And then, of course, you have the threaded post right here. So if we want to, just once you get them, get the post through the holster, take the bushings like that. And then we can just simply line it up. Now, what I recommend is putting blue Loctite on these. Um, I've told this story before. <laughs> when I, I worked in a parts house and I, I asked my, the owner, actually, I was like, hey, man, can I, you know, can I conceal carry? This is when I first got my permit. And he, uh, he, of course, said no. And so, you know, I still carried because we were in a bad area, right? And so... One day he was coming by, man, and, and all of a sudden I hear all this hardware hit the ground. Well, it was my holster. My holster hardware had hit the ground because I didn't Loctite it. And uh, no sooner did I get all the pieces up off the ground did he round the corner. And, you know, I was, it, was a, it was a little awkward. I was able to get to the bathroom in time to, to fix it, you know, temporarily. But that kind of taught me my lesson about blue Loctite. But regardless, now we take a look at the way the clips are, let's see how much of a difference it makes. So somebody recommended 511 pants to me one time, by the way, and I just now am trying them out, and I have to say they're pretty freaking awesome and comfortable, but whoever told me that, I appreciate it. But regardless, now you can see how much the position of the gun has changed. Instead of a position like this, it's more canned forward, so now that's going to change the way it looks, obviously, as far as the printing goes. It's also going to change the way you draw it a little bit. And where you reholster it. But you have that option with this holster, which makes it really nice and super adjustable. And again, we could adjust the ride height. We could have it come up a little bit higher or even sit down a little bit lower inside your waistband. As you can see, the holster 
the way that I wear it and the way it conceals in the minimal design make this a leather holster that I can actually wear, okay? And I like the adjustability of it. I like the premium patriotic cows that help make this holster. Overall, man, they did a really nice job and you can get these in brown or the black one like you see right here one thing i'd like to see them do you see that really nice graphic we the people they do some really cool ones on the kydex i'd like to see them do some of those on on this design but overall man this holster is super nice man they did a really good job on it and again it's minimal it's got all the features that i like and it's not a ton of extra material touching up against me touching on my skin and all that kind of stuff and you can get it on and off relatively easy, right? It's not an act of Congress to be able to get the wings in there and all that kind of stuff. So I really like what they've done here, man. I'm gonna leave a link and a discount code to these down below. If you wanna check these guys out, we the people holsters, dude. Big thanks to those guys making me a believer in a nice leather holster, dude. Again, thank you. If you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel, hit your notifications so you never miss a video from me. And come check out our Patreon, man. We've got a bunch of cool tier rewards and perks and all kinds of stuff we do over there. Big thanks again. See you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.